Drums. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Bottom Gear. Now let's see what's going on in this episode. I fiddle with settings. These goddamn settings are a pain in the ass. Ah! I also have to run from a lot of people. Like, oh shit, they okay, got guns! So the challenge for today is, in fact, we are going to be taking this absolutely lovely car, as you can see right here. It is literally one that I have just picked up randomly off the street and go find out his name. Um, I love how I've done the display, so it won't tell me. Driving. Set down the radar and hud back on so I know where I'm going. Uh, what car am I driving? The Zeon. The Uber Schmidt Zeon. Okay. And what we are doing with the Uber Schmidt is we are taking it to the army base. Okay. Now I'm only having one shot at this, so everything that goes wrong goes wrong, unfortunately for me, but good for you guys. Uh, I have to drive all the way over there in this car and then survive as long as I can inside the army base in this car. That is today's challenge, okay? This is a totally unrelated car. This has been out this car has been out for absolutely decades and yeah, everyone loves this car. There should be a piece on this car, but there isn't. And also I literally am setting this up the day before I release it and doing all the editing probably at 3 o'clock in the morning before it gets released. Um, so yeah, like always, um, let's get on with the challenge. So this car that I have, it's got really nice interior. One thing that I like about GTA 5 is that they didn't skimp out on the interior for the um, older cars, you know? The cars that were already in the game before they allowed first person, they didn't skimp out on the interior whatsoever. Apart from the radio. This car doesn't have a radio. But, I can change the radio station. Okay. Yeah, um... No idea why that is, but that's cool, I guess. Sick tricks! Oh, look at these sick tricks. Oh crap, I've looked. That's definitely not going to help me inside the army base, not having any windows. I mean, windows don't help me when I'm being shot at anyway, but still. Oh. Dodging cars left and right. Doing it like an absolute boss, so I totally know where I'm going. Yeah. So yeah, this car is absolutely lovely. I actually... This car, this car is actually quite a nice one to drive. It's doing exactly what I'm inputting on the controller. It's not like it's not trying to kill me. Unlike some cars I have driven in GTA 5, which do try to kill you as soon as you get behind the wheel on them, like the Adder. The Puto tries to kill you as well. That's why. I, that's one thing that I actually do enjoy about some cars, though, is that if they can get that balance just right. It's an absolute beauty. But unfortunately, I don't think this car has that. I think it's a bit too safe. So I'm going to put it in the most dangerous place I can find. And really figure out how this car will work and tick and push to the limit. Move out of the way. I may have just murdered that person. Yeah, so... um. Pretty much, this episode was meant to have three people on it, actually. This was meant to be the first tri people, uh, trio of people playing on GTA 5 with me. Uh, MKT was meant to make a return, and I was trying to get a guy named Sean James on. But, unfortunately, due to illness and corruption and just death in general, winter people, uh, they couldn't make it on so I'm the only one bringing you today's content yet again so sorry if you don't like this lonely content kind of stuff I do try to add people unfortunately Skull Kids is not online I was gonna have the voice of Skull in the background just help out but he's not online at the moment son of a bitch okay so hey. no hey yourself so the Zion, Zion, 
Zion. I'm gonna call it Zion. The Zion is a, it's a nice car, a lovely interior on it. I do miss the radio function though. Like I feel like GTA like decided that this car doesn't deserve a radio, almost. It's just Yeah. That's not radio down there. No, that's not. Yeah, it hasn't got a radio in it. Huh. But it has speakers. I might I might it might just be me. No, uh, that looks like it. Okay, it might have a radio. This radio is down lower. I thought it didn't have one. I was like, wait, what? They put a car in GTA 5 which doesn't actually have a radio? It does have a radio. These seats are lovely, by the way. I like the seats on this car. They remind me of my seats in my car. Okay, so, let's see how long this car will survive inside the army base. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Oh yeah, and also tomorrow, my live, uh, today actually, it'll be, because I'm recording this the day before, this uploaded, and um, today, uh, I will be live streaming again. I was meant to live stream last week, I brought out to the week before, I was meant to live stream last week, but I just had so much pile up on top of me, and I just couldn't do it. My body was collapsing under stuff so yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep racing around the uh, runway so that is the best thing that you can do on site on the army base to uh, avoid death certain death anyway in a car uh, yep so I will be doing uh, probably another chip next week I should be joined by someone should be that is if I decide to do what I'm planning on doing. I'm not going to say who it is because it could be them or it could be someone else. So it all depends on quite a few things. Like who I can find who will actually do this with me and etc etc. So if the people are still ill or not being able to get hold of then I will have to resort to code C which is which is normal for me to have to do but it's all cool. Now, like always, it's time for the news. Okay, so our top story today is that there is a brand new motorcycle range out. The Fagio series has come out. They're great bikes for people just starting off. Great for kids, 16 to 18 year olds. They're bloody brilliant. You can race them around. They're 50cc, not very good at climbing hills. But they are abs an absolute brilliant range. I'll just bring them up on the screen now and you lot can all have a look at them. So if you think about a first bike in GTA 5, you don't exactly know what to get. Here is the uh, customable one. This one's great. It's fully customizable. It's a uh, beauty to handle and can go rather quick compared to the others. Okay, moving on. We have the Faggio Sport or the Fagio Sport, whichever one you want to call it. Um, it's pretty much, it's got the same engine in it. The difference is, is this is the sporty model and is supposedly quicker and more agile than the other two. Okay, so they are the first ones. Now we go on to the older one, wherever he is. He's probably all the way down here. Just give me a couple of seconds to get to him. Do -do 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 -do. He's been separated from all the rest. Uh, where is he? Do -do 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 -do. Ah, here he is, the Faggio. Faggio. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, the Faggio is a uh, the normal one. Braking's not very good in it, but top speed is fairly good on the normal one. Only cost five grand, remember. So an absolute bargain for a first ve personal vehicle, if you ask me. Uh, it's very nicely upgradable. I in fact own one of the modded ones myself, which is one of these ones. Um, I think it's absolutely lovely. You can add mirrors and stuff to it. Personally, I don't like the thing it's based off of. If you know what it is, I think it's a pile of shite. But I do like it in this game because it's different. Okay, and also our uh, pillow gaming story today is... Um, 
I will be doing a uh, live stream. I will. I am still live streaming, believe it or not. These, it's not. I'm, my channel is not just going to become bottom gear. I will be doing more live streams today, later on today, probably. And also, I might be joined by Tons of Pollution. Who knows? But anyway, let's get back into. Actually, no, not into the challenge yet. We are going to quickly put a car around our track. So yeah, let's go do that. Okay, and now we have to hand it over to our tame racing driver, which of course is the Steig looking there, as always, as nice as ever. And now we're going to see how fast it can go around our track. Okay, so the Steig is just getting ready. You can hear him really revving the hell out of that thing, just to see if he can get warmed up. Okay, three, two, one, and he's off. Oh, nice little dirt flick while he goes across away from the line. Racing as fast as he can, going in third person just to see what speed he's doing. He's up to 60 already. Heading over to 80. Going around the first bend. Oh, listen to that wheel squeal. And he's straight back on the power, heading straight down to um, Camper's Corner. Going round Camper's Corner. Oh, back end slides out, which is good for him because he didn't actually turn that well just then. He goes out rather wide for this corner, hoping that he can stay in and just touch that one, which he does beautifully. Racing along on the dirt valley. Going around everything. Over Devil's Hill. Yep. Ooh. And across the line. Perfect. At a time of 1 minute and 8 seconds. 0 0.352. It is the fastest thing that's gone around our track. Because I think if I remember the other one was 1 minute 15, which should have appeared underneath. Cool. Okay. Back to the challenge, I guess, then. Okay, and we're back. We are inside the army base right now, and this car is taking an absolute beating. But... It's holding on pretty well. I haven't really seen any tanks or anything, so let's just cut back across here. We'll just shoot at this helicopter, I think. Actually, let's try this. Ah! Look. Let's just take out his tire, fucking. Up a bit. That's a car over there. Yep, it is. Oh, I took out one of them. I'm not sure if that was a driver or just a passenger in that, though. Oh, they took out one of my tires. Ooh, that's going to make my life a hell of a lot harder. Okay. Ah. Ah. I need to look at the mini map more. So I can see exactly where I need to turn and stuff. Come on! I guess it's that here I need to turn. Oh! I just took out a helicopter. Boom, check out that Let's just try and punch these tires quick. Oh crap, which one's out on mine? Uh, left rear. Left rear, okay. That's my damage report. Left rear down. Stop. Hey, got a punch out his tires as well. Oh crap. Oh. Okay, let's keep driving. Oh, you guys suck. Where are your tanks, bruh? When I come, when I turn up at your crib, you better have a tank because I am taking you guys down. Bitch. That's me, bruh. Every day I'm killing these. Oh crap! Here they come. Ugh. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap, I am running out of time. 
I am running out of time. Ah. Try and pop his tires, but yeah, there we go. Pop their tires, make them have bad turning as well. Yeah, now you know how it feels. Cute. Okay, lights ahead. No, don't look like it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we are. Oh crap! Here, here comes up. Hit the tires. Hit the tires. Uh, I've got one side of tires left. The other side is completely gone. Ah, uh, she look like. Ah, uh, he can be a tank. Ah, uh, he's reversing. Uh. It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and now, thank you for watching that challenge. We are about to end the show. But what I can say is this car is absolutely great. It's sixty thousand pounds on the uh, website, the LS Autos website. I'll just take you to it now. Um, it's a absolutely a lovely car. I advise everyone buys it because it literally can handle anything you throw. It it's fast. It's nippy. It looks good, and it's absolutely beautiful. Look, it even comes with a cup holder. Mine didn't, but. It comes with a cup holder when you buy one. Look how beautiful that is. And you can get it in a range of eight colours. Which is always nice whenever you're buying a car. Um, yep, the reason why it looks like it's been hit by a train is because we let the Stig drive it back. As you can tell, um, he got into a gang fight with it. And he also abused the hell out of it. And he also can confirm that this car is lovely to drive right up until you lose the back tires on it but anyway thanks for watching the video and thank you for and on that and that's how the penny drops so let's end the show good night Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Me and my buddy Bob here are out. And remember, if you want to join my GTA group, it is Bottom Gear. I will also probably be making a Steam Screw group of Bottom Gear. And also, I've got a. Not Team Speak, what's the other one? Fuck, I forgot what it's called. Ah, uh, give me a second. It's just got balls. I've completely forgot what the fuck. Discord, Discord, that's the one. I also have a Discord server called Bottom Gear if you want to check it out. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.